insightful session of Studio Talk by CIO and Leader. So as we are gearing up with our 26th annual conference, the CIO and Leader, we have with us Mr. Abhishant from NextGen. Hello, sir. Welcome Hi. to the Studio Talk. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. So to begin with, sir, I would li like to ask you, what would be your key advice to all the CIOs as well as to all the future leaders who are, you know, who will be our upcoming CIOs, uh, who are aiming to scale up in the AI effectively? So um, uh, it's uh, it's good that uh, you know this question is there because uh, the event coincidentally has a name called AI Pilot to Production, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to be involved with around forty projects for our customers that have actually gone from pilot to production. So uh, we have a way of doing it, and hopefully that would be helpful. Uh, the first uh, step that we like to take when we are taking this journey is actually uh, engineer the solution itself. We call it uh, AI solution engineering, where we actually think about every step and consideration of uh, the entire outcome that we want to build. So what is going to be the AI strategy? What models will we select? What modalities of data are being used? Where are the data sources? Do you need to get it from particular databases? Or do you need to uh, store it in a separate vector store? There are a lot of uh, various different uh, considerations that you need to make. And then you also need to think about whether the solution works on standard inferencing or do you need to do some kind of fine tuning and you need to do some kind of uh, uh, a rag or pre-training and things like that. So when there are all of these considerations, it's better to map out the solution first and then get into the uh, next steps, right? So the second step, I mean, you should look at a data strategy, right? You should think about how to centralize this data that is there in various different sources because every AI solution requires some form of data input uh, in, in a particular format. So we, it's good to build a nice data strategy. Uh, at this stage, again, we're not doing any engineering, but we're planning as to how do we uh, pull data periodically if it is required, if it is a dynamic data set or if there is data that needs to be vectorized, then what is the mechanism in which we have to do it? Uh, so we again put a very robust plan for that in place. The, the third step is once we have a data plan and an AI solution plan, we actually get into the uh, uh, statement of, uh, I mean, the, the work of uh, doing the actual engineering. This is where the engineers have a robust plan and they start doing their development. Uh, the fourth stage is once we have the AI solution ready, uh, we work with the customer or we work with the uh, people who are doing the project with us to understand whether some guard railing and evaluation needs to take place, whether the model is uh, outputting some form of a, a wrong in output or they want to do some kind of output control so that uh, they can uh, control the way uh, uh, the model responds according to whatever policy or compliance they may have and is it maybe uh, providing some data which it should not. So we do a fourth stage where you know we do a good amount of guard railing and there are different kinds of models which you use to do a guidance on, of the solution, right? And final thing is probably very unique uh, because we are able to do this uh, as an infrastructure provider, which is also the deployment aspect, right? How do you deploy and how do you scale this AI solution? Because it is not like typical uh, virtual machines where you just put a HA proxy or a load balancer to scale it. There are uh, multiple different mechanisms of scaling um, uh, sort of uh, AI. So there should be a nice deployment and scaling strategy in place, how much GPU infrastructure is needed. And then uh, we finally work on continuous improvement along with the deployment. So this is sort of a, a, a mechanism or a strategy which we have been using and I hope it was a good framework for uh, everyone to follow uh, as, uh, as well. Was very, very insightful, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you, Thank you so much.